Well, there it is, the national anthem brought to you tonight by the Chatter Hooligans. And uh, a fine job they did too. So, uh, here's our starting 11. We'll go through Chattanooga first. We've got Chris Benitez in the back with Richard Dixon, the captain, in the middle. Kevin Gonzalez back in goal. Roddy Green getting a start up front. On the left wing, Juan Hernandez in the middle. Brett Jones on the right wing. Uh, Alex McGrath in the midfield. Marcus Nagwish out centre forward as always. And in the back, we've got Tate Robertson, Nick Spillman, and Colin Stripling. Of course, our coaches, the esteemed Rod Underwood. So, uh, some players getting a start, but they only get one. Here's the uh, Club de Leon starting group. Number seven, Victor Bolanco. Number five, Matteo Borelli. Number 17, Christopher Clemens. 19, Kewin Duque. Number nine, Nicholas Jellicanin. Number one, Hector Melendez. Number 23, Matthias Perrain, their leading scorer. Number 10, Victor Rojas. Number six, Jorge Ruiz. Number eight, Gazoa Serrano Guerrero. And number 11, Ignacio Ten Lopez. The coach, Fabien Porren, was here earlier talking to Victorus. And uh, glad to be here in Chattanooga. They're getting ready to uh, get the official photograph underway. So, uh, and so let's get to you a bit of that Club de Leon. And their record in the Lisa League, as the Mighty Pure Horse up here will know that much about them. Um, but they play in the five-team Florida Regional League. And after 12 league games, they have won 10, drawn one and lost one, with a 48 goals four and eight against goal difference which is uh, something else they are the leading scorers by about 10 or 15 goals in their league and they're undefeated in their last five games so they are in good form which will make for a good game here i think both teams obviously in good form chapter coming off the win at syracuse on wednesday afternoon with that one goal from uh, my bud alex mcgrath and uh keeping the winning streak for chattanooga going keeping them top of the southeast league um, so both teams on form, interesting when two on form teams get together. So we're looking forward to seeing how that works out tonight. Temperature's about normal, not too much humidity, 90 degrees, obviously in the field are probably at 5 6 degrees, what hotter. Uh, the sun is going down, but uh, still pretty toasty with plenty some water breaks as always. Um, so get comfortable with your favourite beverage, get in your comfy chair and enjoy soccer for the next two hours. As we bring you the uh, Nice Independent Cup Southeast Region Final which I FC and Club de Leon from Orlando. Just about ready to get going here. Referees are in red today, should be easy to spot. The uh, players to look out for in Orlando. Um, up front, I'd look out for Reed, who's got five goals, Yelikin in with six, Blanco with seven goals and nine assists, and Perrain with seven goals and three assists. And then also in the midfield, look out for Duque with four goals and five, four goals, five assists, and Rojas with eight goals and get this at 12 assists. Uh, everybody in the midfield in this team is, is a goal scorer as well as the forwards, so certainly needs to be watching out for. Goal is coming from all directions in Chattanooga. Have to contain all that. Should be an interesting game. Run away. Chattanooga playing from right to left. Kevin Gonzalez in the middle green on your right. Facing into the sun, which is always a little challenging. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, Chattanooga say fresh off a win. Orlando fresh off a win. Early break for Orlando. Trying to get into space. Quite decide how to pass that one and uh, Chattanooga break up the attack. Now Nagelstadt coming forward. He's got uh, Brett Jones over there on the right. On the left, Roddy Green running up inside. De Brett dispossessed. Richard Dixon getting the ball back. Back to the Chattanooga defence. Take Robertson on the far side. Colin stripping there. Playing in the same position, Nash were back four with the same played most of the uh, most of the season. Nick Spielman's back in, which is great to see Nick playing again. And uh, Chris Bermuda is making up the fourth. Chris is uh, certainly looking forward to getting more game time, so I'm glad to see him out there too. That we may see some players that don't get quite as much playing time tonight. We will see how it goes. We have a couple of players who are. Uh, not able to play Luke Ferreira and uh, Nick Nelson and uh, Travis Ward also not available and uh, of course Rodriguez brothers are not uh, not available too for this one most of the team are there most of them are fit 
So Chattanooga, very few injury worries to be concerned about this midpoint in the table. Chattanooga, as I said, key to the game, keeping that possession. Not trying anything too clever, just doing what we do best, hanging on to the ball. Trying to make something happen here. Trying to find a crack in the defence and good discussion by Richard Dixon there. That was uh, Guerrero and Rojas combining down here on the right wing. That one's out for a throw. I think the freeze. Uh, yeah. That one go through. Nope, free kick. Can't tell on the far side. <laughs> Too many hoardings in the way. Along that one, Chris Bermuda keeps it in. Chattanooga patiently building again. If you're wondering about Nisa play, um, we're back here on August the 6th when the Mirror and Bobcats come to visit. Um, for now, we have the cup game tonight, which is uh, a nice change to see a cup game here after we had the one we played in the, uh, the cup with Memphis and the Atlanta United early in the year. field. A little early yet for shots on goal but uh, both teams have been a lot of energy keeping the middle of the field busy. Free kick to Orlando, playing it long. Trying to find Lopez out there on the left wing. Long ball for Roddy Green to run on to. He's got away from one defender. Can he get away from some more? No, <laughs> they have a collision face to face. So, and a good steal there from Bermuda. It's coming up all the way from the back. And the three blows for a foul. A little bit too physical from Chattanooga there. Number five, Matthew Brelli. Defending hard there and pays the price by ending up sitting on the grass. So. Dixon gets the header to Hernandez. Chattanooga are ready to break again already. And they just that out to Green. Green looking up for support. We're going to cross it. There it goes wide. Yep. Back to Bermuda. Show me the patient, not trying to rush up too fast on this. And the possession game is the game that has got us to where we are this season. So, and there's a great long ball there to take Robertson. Can we keep it in? Gets the cross in, still in play. Pops out for a chat and throw on the far side. One Hernandez to take that one. Pass it on to Taylor Robson to take that. That's the graph all the way back to Colin Strickland. And then there's Nick Spillman keeping it solid at the back. Chatting again on the build. A lot of, a lot of possession. The fans were shouting, oh, they would be shouting away a lot. Chasing to keep control of the ball in consecutive passes. Giving it away now to Orlando. Orlando with the break on. 
set up very nicely by Nick Spielman. Nice and calm. Quickly taken throw. Orlando trying to come on. Rojas and Lopez again down his left wing. Looking quite like a good combination for Orlando, but Chattanooga able to break him up. And Hernandez can't set Roddy Green off, but the idea is good. Chattanooga patiently move that triangle of the players down the field. There we go again. Richard Dixon losing possession, gets it back. How about that? He's making the Orlando run a little bit. Orlando to break up those passes. Chapman needs to work on the accuracy on the passes a little bit better. That's a good long ball with Roddy Green. Roddy gets it one touch, brings it down. Driving in, here he comes. Can't get past two defenders though. Juan Hernandez slows him down once again. Starting to come down the left wing. Trying to get the shot away. That's the first shot of the game, actually, but it's uh, pushed over the bar. Doesn't really trouble with Kevin Gonzalez, but we're 10 minutes in, and that's, uh, that's the first shot of the game that we've seen so far. Both teams a little bit cagey. I think they're feeding each other out and not rushing. Now, of course, it's super early to tell it's going to be a scoreless draw. There's Roddy Green again. And Roddy's got a lot of marking on Roddy, but uh, Orlando not marking Marcus Nagrish out too much. If Roddy can flick it over to him, he could be away on the goal. But uh, the format is... It's... Uh, the group winner plays in the championship, which is what we're doing tonight. Um, this game goes to completion and overtime, and then penalty kicks if necessary to determine a winner by FIFA standards. So we actually have to have a winner tonight, either by overtime or penalty kicks. Rather like in the, uh, the women's Euros, which are probably sure you're probably watching in your spare time, or the uh, the Commonwealth FIFA Copa Femenina also going on in South America which has been excellent to watch as well. But uh, Chattanooga with the early pressure. One shot from Orlando. Not exactly end-to-end uh, <laughs> -end just yet. Let's see how it goes. Now that's a good good ball there through to Ro Rojas and just called offside on Rojas as he gets the feed from Guerrero.
good bench for Chattanooga tonight. They've got, uh, I think, eight or nine players on. It's nine, I think, out there. And uh, Orlando has bought uh, nine themselves. So they've got a big squad. So you should see a lot of these players getting some time tonight. Um, Chattanooga's a bench. I think we bought you that. We've got Alec Reddington on the bench and then Greg Stratton. Frankie Martinez, Ian Cerro, normally a starter. He's on the bench tonight, getting a breather. Uh, Ethan Corrin, Giuseppe Giraud, uh, Higa Martinez and Jaime Hernandez on the bench. So a good, strong bench. And some players are going to get some game time tonight, perhaps. We talked to the players before the game. They're all in, in good mood. Very, uh, very positive after the results, as they should be after lead in the Southeast Conference continually week after week and uh, coming off the win in New York it was in good shape so that's a nice back heel Brett Jones ducks and dives can't get away Nagelstadt gets the ball Nagelstadt goes down but referee doesn't buy a penalty so uh, like uh, back to Orlando to restart play. There we go. Long ball from the keeper. Trying to find those forwards, find Lopez out there. All the way back to the defence. It's uh, good press from Chattanooga to keep Orlando busy and not letting them settle, which is also a good thing to do. coming away with that from that midfield ball. ball out long a little too much on that and uh, all the way back to Kevin Gonzalez Roddy Green, good header there, and Orlando's number five, Matthew Borelli, getting a busy evening already, Matthew Borelli keeping the defence together. Back in play from Bermudez, yeah, Roddy Green gets away from the markers, tries to find one, and as Roddy goes down with a foul, a bit of a clattering on the, on the ankle, and we got a free kick at Chattanooga there, I think. Or he's down on his back. Oh, I think he's going to be okay, yeah. Just a bit of a clattering on the ankles. Which is why you wear shin guards, boys and girls. <laughs> so quick, like Roddy's parents are watching up in uh, up in Chicago, I think he said today. Um, so thank you for being there for him. It's always good to see you guys when you come down to Chattanooga to watch the games. kick. We've got McGrath and Hernandez over this one rather than McGrath and Cerro like normal. Let's see if we get something different out of this. Players clustered on the far side of the box. Just out of your shot there on the uh, top right of the 18-yard uh, box. McGrath up and referee. Yep, dummy there. Nagelstadt. Yes. Is that Nigel Stash? Hang on. <laughs> yep. Let's see a replay of that one. I think that was Jordan Stripling. Right at the back. Bounces it off the keeper and the fence slaps it again, goes in the near post, I think it was Colin Stripling. It was number eight, Colin Stripling gets the goal for Chattanooga in the uh, 17th minute. So 
So that's a great start for Chattanooga. Collins dribbling at the far post. That's the place where you expect to see Marcus Nagelstack. And Collins there and does the magic in the 16th minute. Now game on. What will Orlando do to respond to that one? Come back strong. Chattanooga have to defend. Orlando will be looking for the quick equaliser. That one slides out for a Chattanooga goal kick. Off for number 10, Rojas. Well, game on. How exciting. <laughs> We've got that early goal after some very slow play. That's really Chattanooga's first or second shot on goal. And uh, it nests in the back of the net, which is where you want to see it. So Chattanooga get that kind of level of efficiency. They'll have uh, <laughs> almost one shot per goal. And as long as Nagelstadt gets knocked on the back of the head, play, referee plays the advantage. And it uh, comes out for a throw in, so Marcus is back up and again, but a bit of a knock on the back of the head there. The referee needs to look at that, because that's the, the FIFA protocol to look at head injuries. Check he's okay. So a bit of excitement there. We'll really see how Orlando come out and take this on. If they change anything about their game or uh, keep pressing down the wings as they've been doing. Oh, that's a good steal. Can we get it? Yes, they can. <laughs> Number 11, Lopez, gets the quick equaliser. Like I was saying, sometimes it's quick to get an equaliser and Orlando celebrate that one. In the uh, 19th minute, a very quick equaliser again. Let's see this, this turnover in midfield. Just a quick steal and he comes right through, looks up. Where's the keeper? Slides it past him. In the back of the net, Orlando showing they can be so dangerous on the break. One apiece. 20 minutes in and one apiece. Got a game coming on here. This is the uh, one you really should be in the crowd to see, but it's a great game. So that adds, that's Rojas's nine go ninth goal of the season so far. again and so put Brett Jones on the left wing this time the body green Bermuda has take the throw in back to McGrath got men on him quickly Orlando with the press he's going to let Chattanooga settle themselves as Orlando just Chattanooga to Orlando there's the ball in the box over Hernandez's head Brett Jones can't quite keep it in, flips out for a goal kick to Orlando. So yeah, drama. Two goals in three minutes for here, yeah, one apiece. chance he's got green overlapping on the right wing now nah, taken down corner of the box is the referee going to give a penalty kick or a free kick it was right in the corner of the penalty box in that yellow line the referee is not being swayed by the protest of the Orlando players and he's talking to the linesman see what he saw get the second opinion as there's no VAR here which is great <laughs> but uh, Linesman talking about the Orlando players are all over them and there's a yellow first yellow card for descent for the Orlando players. Didn't take long to get one of those. You can see quite a little cluster going on over there of Orlando players all round the referee. Chattanooga players sitting back and waiting to see what uh, they decide. But uh, 
Marcus did get a knock in the top corner of the penalty box. I'm thinking it's going to be a penalty kick. McGrath's given the ball to Nagelstadt. I assume... I didn't see the referee point at the spot, but... Everybody's setting up for a penalty kick, so... Penalty kick it is. Chattanooga's chance to go back ahead. Now watch the Orlando goalkeeper and defenders try a bit of psychology on Nagelstadt. And try to intimidate him. And Chattanooga players trying to keep him apart. Uh-oh. Here we go. Not going to start pushing and shoving, are we? Don't want to get the handbags out and start waving them around like girls at a disco. Referee's trying to get a grip on this one. It's not easy sometimes. I hope we're not be in that job. But, uh, referee is uh, ignoring the psychology that Orlando are trying to do. They're actually wasting a lot of time. Could get a car for time wasting here as well. So, Nagelstadt will take the penalty kick in the 24th minute. Another yellow card issued, I think. I've been told. So, here we go. Good save. Wow. And good save for the Orlando keeper. Hector Melendez there. That keeps it interesting. We must have watched Mar Marcus's penalty kicks in the past. So, still one apiece at Chattanooga Corner. Certainly uh, plenty of excitement in this game now, after a little bit of a slow start. Now it's getting going. Chattanooga crowd in the six yard box here. Here comes the corner. As soon as the referee tells them to stop doing pushing and shoving again. There it goes, McGrath with the corner kick. out for a goal kick to uh, Orlando. Hard to see all those bodies in there. So Orlando live and breathe to stay at one apiece. That was a quite a dramatic PK save. Now uh, both teams have shown what they can do. Let's see if they keep on doing this. Both teams know they can score goals but give them away too and that's a nice through ball. Still on side. No support but uh, Dixon working hard there. Orlando trying to get in the space for a shot when Hernandez gets the tackle in. And it's a corner to Orlando on the far side. Alright, let's see what they do with this corner kick. I think it's their first one of the game, so let's see what their technique is, if it's short or long. Players ducking and diving in the box, of course. Here we go. And just past the left post. A nice header there, but uh, nothing doing.
good deep ball in, Chatney to push it away nicely. Still not cleared. No foul given, game keeps moving. Chattanooga defending well and giving away a foul on the far side though. My glamorous assistant over here tells me that uh, the Orlando players are referred to as Club de Leon, not Orlando. So sorry about that. I'll try and stick to Club de Leon in the future. So Club de Leon with the free kick on the far side of the left wing. Everybody gathering up on the far side of the 18-yard box. Just about everybody up from Club de Leon. Trying to find that crack in the Chattanooga defence for a second goal. They'd love to do that. Score at home, of course, against Chattanooga. Deep ball in. Pushed out. Bit of a mess, but it goes in. I think that was number five who got the goal, Borelli. I think it was Borelli in the scramble there on the right-hand side of the goal. Pushing it past Kevin Gonzalez into the back of the net. And oh, Club de Leon happy to take the lead with that one. Let's see that again. It was a bit of a scramble. You weren't paying attention, you might have missed it. Let me find a nickel for the Wayback Machine, here we go. Bit of a bounce around you. Borelli gets a foot on it, and then it goes. Just uh, at the far post where it's a little hard to defend against, Chattanooga the players having a quick confidence about that. So Club Leon up 2-1. Really in the uh, 28th minute. So 2 1, Club de Leon. Let's see what they do. How Chattanooga come back from that. I haven't seen Chattanooga down a goal much this season, so we'll test what we've got in reserve. Here we go. We're in the uh, 30th minute of play, so we get to water break. Hope you have one at home too. It is still pretty hot down. The sun has gone down behind the mountains. And the lights are on, but it's still pretty hot, especially on that field when you're running around like a madman. So everybody, every, everybody hydrate. showing it even though it's after 8 o'clock Eastern so it's still pretty hot. back out after that little bit of water break that we had a couple of minutes of extra time for the first half so good pause there at uh, interesting score line at 2-1 club de Leon. but uh, plenty more soccer to go so uh, certainly not over by a long way I suspect we won't get to a overtime we should have a winner the way these teams are playing there'll be a lot more goals to come 
Chandler getting it back underway with a throw. Brett Jones quickly back to Nick Spielman. Out to Colin Stripling with that, and back to Nick. Richard Dixon in midfield, looking up to Hernandez. That was an overlap. Slate Robertson. And Roddy Green. Chandler was taking it steady. Doing between two crows, a great long ball there. Hernandez still on side. Keeps under control. He's all his skills and experience there. Orlando able to sort of suddenly and able to get it back there. Richard Dixon gets the ball. And again, long ball down the wing, a little bit too much on it to take Robertson to get hold of. Lovely on with the throw, deep in their half. Still 2-1 to them. About 15 more minutes of play to go. Jones there, feeding Nagelstadt, Nagelstadt tackled hard but uh, no, no foul given, Richard Dixon steals the ball away, nice play there from our captain, all the way back to Chattanooga defence, after Leon pushing a bit on Chattanooga here and Chattanooga is able to recover and switch play around the field and keep on coming back. Both clubs playing, it's like a 3-3-4 formation, which seems to be well matched at the moment. But Miguel back to Gon Gonzalez. Chattanooga will keep putting Bermudez ducking and diving, just pushing the back right in front of the referee, which is not a very good place to do it. <laughs> Obviously the foul given. And the referee having a quick word with uh, the player from Club de Leon. Number seven, the referee's about to wave a card at him, I think, no, just a warning, he had a card in his hand, but uh, number seven, Victor Blanco, gets away without a card. Chat Hullard and Shatton for a card, as you can probably hear in the background. Free kick to Chattanooga. watch out with these back passes because the, uh, they're being pressed hard if they do make one. Not having much time on the ball. So I'll just feed it to Lemudez who is pushing the back again. <laughs> who that was, number 10, oh, that was uh, Rojas pushing Chris in the back of the head. Being pushed a little bit by Club de Leon here at the back. Now, on the far side, Chattanooga, the overlap. Win the throw in over there, quickly taken. Back to Hernandez. Chattanooga is slowly moving up the field. Intercepted. Still in play. Goes out. Club Leon throw. Guerrero winning that one, he'll take the throw in. Now, 
break on here. Rojas with the cross. Oh, good save. Getting young guard is safe on that one. Quickly back out to Chris Bermudez. Alex McGrath. Back to Chris. Pushed out for Chapman to throw. Chapman not being allowed to settle too much. Which is the technique that Chapman got from using other teams. I think he's used us. <laughs> Overlap. Roddy Green chasing that one and it runs out for a throw into Chattanooga on the far side of the top of the 18 yard box. Chattanooga with a chance to build and maybe do something. And then there's across to Bermudez. He's got players open on the left, he's got Brett Jones open unmarked. And sticking on the right wing for now. Through ball to Nagelstadt, again, cut down. Again, right in front of the referee, which is not really the best place to do it, because you can't pretend he didn't see it. Okay, Ruiz for that one. Chattanooga with a free kick about uh, 21, 22 yards out. Could be scoring distance here for our free kick experts. Let's have a look and see what they do. We've got four of them over it, I'm sure. It won't take four people to take one kick. and Bermudez over this one. Nagelstadt. Whoa! about that. Nagelstadt from a free kick in the 40th minute. You can hear the crowd lose their minds. Watch this. Bending it. Wow. Right past the fucking post. The keeper's got no chance. Chattanooga 2. Up to Leon 2. What a great goal from Marcus Nagelstadt. Fabulous. Now the game is level again. Don't forget a text. 423-445-1002 to win the full Rhodesia from our sponsors, Rhodesia Grill Downtown. Every time you're trying to score a goal, send that text. Goal. Just one word, and you can win a full Rhodesia from our sponsors. Now, how the club would you all respond to that? We've had four goals in the first half after a little cagey start. It's a great steal. McGrath. Brett Jones blocked. Brett Jones down. Knocked down, Chattanooga players appealing for the penalty, but referee says play on. Huge boos in the crowd there. But uh, looks to me like Brett Jones denied a scoring chance, which is uh, a free kick at least. However, play goes on. All the way back to Kevin Gonzalez. We'll get it out. There's a... Take Robertson off our side, calm things down a bit, but four goals in 40 minutes. After the first 10 was a bit slow, suddenly we're knocking them in left, right and centre. breath back thing after that, that was pretty exciting. <laughs> Players are like slowing it right down. Again now, good ball to Roddy Green to chase down the far side. Roddy Green's on his own, he's got one coming over but he looks good. Can he get the cross in? Keeps the ball in play but uh, can't keep possession but uh, oh what good steal there from one there's right off the toes. Now Brett Jones again. Overlap. Take Robertson on the left wing instead of the right where he should be. <laughs> Richard Dixon playing it back. 
this by Nudez. Take the opposite way from the position, but it's working well, so if it works, why not? Chattanooga are playing it back, slowing the pace down a bit, but uh, good attack, attack in play there. The overlap there is to Brett Jones, a good feed, Jones is, oh, just offside, just a step behind the defender and offside when the ball was played, so, Club de Leon keep it moving. Oh, and nibble on the back of the ankles, Hernandez, draws a foul, and Rojas. Free kick for uh, Club de Leon way out, almost at the halfway line here. Play deep in towards Gonzalez and he just lets it run out for a goal kick. Bit of a waste of a free kick really, but uh, that's what they chose to do with it. Nobody gets a moment to reset. Can Bermudez get to it? Crunches into <laughs> number 18. Luis Terran. Made look a bit dramatic. He's probably okay, but uh, this is another free kick. Which the referee is making them take in the correct place with a the offence occurred that I'm pleased to see. Someone let them creep up the field and that one is not letting them do it. So, Rojas with the free kick. Just for everybody else up. Club de Leon on top of the 18-yard box. Let's see how they break. Bends it in. Headed, good save. Kevin Gonzalez right behind that one. No problem there. Bermudez trying to feed the ball up to McGrath, who's chasing that one hard. In with the keeper, McGrath pursues it. And he gets as far as Brett Jones. Hernandez feeds it through to Nagelstadt, but it slides out, and that is out for a corner, I think, the Chattanooga. It is. We're coming into extra time. I'm not sure how many extra time minutes there'll be, maybe two, for the water to break. Chattanooga back in the play quickly. Dixon running it through. Bermudez. Can he cross it? He can. Nagelstadt, Dixon, Hernandez. Oh, completely misses the ball. <laughs> An air shot. I'm sure he didn't want to do that. <laughs> Dixon gets it back to Stripling, and uh, Spielman's got it. Plays it deep back into the Club de Leon half. Pushing a shove in there. Chatley would come away with it. Tate Robertson finds that one on the far side. Roddy Green now. Great ball out to Brett Jones. Brett Jones looking up. Find a target. Nagelstadt gets hold of it. Can he control it? Bit of a pushing, shoving, and a, another Chattanooga corner. All right, maybe the last play of the game. We'll see because we're into three minutes of added time. Chattanooga's chance to go into the locker room one up. Here we go in the draft of the corner. Everybody. Blasted around the front of the goal mat. Referee's having to them to play nicely. 
he's certainly having a, having a good game, the referee. Keeping it moving and uh, making sure everybody sticks to the rules, which is, is good. I really think this kick will be probably the last play of the game once it gets going. Here we go. Play short. And uh, pushed out for a throw into Chattanooga on the near side. Take Robertson over here. For the media has to take. Three minutes are uh, just about up. Brett Jones gets the ball. All the way back to Nick. Nick Spearman across to Colin Strickling. Spreads to Roddy Green again. They've chipped in, but that's the end of play in the first half, folks. That was exciting. Two goals and a penalty save. Pretty good stuff. I'm glad you were enjoying that along with us. A little hard to keep it going after 10 minutes of uh, fairly slow play. It just went mad. and Lots of goals, lots of action, a couple of yellow cards. Good stuff. That's the second half, two apiece. And we're back, folks. Welcome back to the second half of Chattanooga FC against uh, Club de Leon. Here in the Nisa Independent Cup South East Region Final. Great to have you with us here on 11 Sports. I'm Simon Neal bringing you the second half. You probably saw lots of excitement in the first half. We had <laughs> four goals and a penalty kick save. So lots happening. Lots of drama. Here bring us a few substitutions to bring you. We'll get those in a moment. And plays back underway. Two apiece. Chattanooga FC opened the, call, the scoring with Colin Stripling in the 16th minute, equalised by Club de Leon, the 19th, almost immediately by Lopez, then Borelli with that tapping from the free kick. Chattanooga now with the attack. And then Chattanooga's equaliser, Marco Nagelstadt's fabulous free kick from just outside the box. Very highly poised, this game, I think you could say, because it's... One team scores and the other one responds almost immediately, so lots of excitement. Seeing Ian Cerro back on the field now, replacing Juan Hernandez for Chattanooga. It's great to see Juan playing. Greg Stratton, number three on. Been placing Chris Bermuda, so Greg Stratton getting the play, which is great. And uh, Chris getting a breather there. But he had a good first half. Now. Brett Jones on the right wing, trying to come down, make the break on. See what those fresh legs can do with uh, Greg and Ian, see what they can do for the team. <laughs> All right, in a moment I'll be bringing you a special guest. Oops, sorry folks, a little bit of microphone noise there, do apologise. Let's uh, see how this first half kicks off. We've got Taylor Gray come on too as a substitute. We had three substitutes during the second half, or during uh, half time there. Great long ball, I think that's too much. Nope, gets hold of it. Almost a shot there, Richard Dixon cleaning up. Ian Sarah so trying to do his magic, can't quite get it, and uh, Club Leon come away. Throw to Chattanooga, I think. Yeah, no. Hang on. <laughs> He's trying to get a grip on that one, make sure they behave themselves. <laughs> While they're doing that, I'll tell you a bit of our special guest. I've got uh, Travis Ward here. Hey, Travis. Hey, how are you? I'm fine, sir. It's good to see you. You've uh, not playing today because you've got a knock, I understand, but uh, I thought I'd ask you to come up here and talk to the folks at home. How are uh, you enjoying the game so far? No, the game's going, uh, it's going pretty well. Uh, a little unfortunate. Okay. Uh, you know, for their, their goals to come, but 
think we're doing pretty well keeping the right. ball. Right. Um, you know, pressing them, getting in good areas, um, finishing off most of our opportunities. You know, a little bit unlucky with the penalty, but right. Uh, I'm right. sure we're going to see more, more chances as this game continues. It was a bit of a slow start. Ten minutes and just a bit cagey, and then right. suddenly the goals just came one after the other. Right, exactly. They're all, what, I think all, all four goals almost came in a 20-minute span. They did, yeah. I, I was saying uh, to the folks at home, it was uh, really a short short spell of goals. That, you know, reply a goal, will reply each team, just score against the other. And, and before we started, we talked about... Uh, Club Leon's record, they have a really high goal scoring record of 48 in this season. They're, Who, they're pretty much goal machines. Team? Yeah, they're okay. really good. So they, okay. um, And they've got a couple of their strikers have all got multiple goals, you know, five, six, seven, eight goals each. Okay. All the midfield to score too. So they're pretty powerful in their region in Florida. So I was wondering how it's going to work out with us up here now we've seen it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> So how does it how does it how does it look from up here when you're usually you're down the field? How do you how do you like the view? <laughs> I mean, you got a little AC up here, so the AC is definitely nice. It's hot <laughs> down there, but uh, no, it's nice to be able to see the whole field. It's definitely a different perspective. It is from up here. It is. Uh, you see the field, you know, you see the game way differently. You see how big the spaces really are, but you know, mm -hmm. when you're in it, when you're in it, you feel you feel a little bit more of the pressure and stuff. But um, no, it's good. It's good. We're looking we're looking pretty good keeping high possession on the ball so you can see him keeping their shape can't you, you can see what right. rod's shape is right you can see he made some made some tactical subs at halftime mm -hmm. as well i saw that yeah so. yeah so i think he was looking to get some other players their playing time which yeah is no, great. definitely but it's uh, a good opportunity for that you know i, I mean, think as it much, is. as much as we want to win this game and as much as the trophy matters you know sure. it's also it's a good opportunity for some guys that you know, have been working extremely hard you know, and haven't maybe gotten the minutes they, they, they might should have, and this is a good opportunity for them to get some of those minutes. So, you know, I think they're taking, I think they're taking um, full advantage of it, and um, hopefully we can get a couple more goals here. I'm hoping so too, and I'm watching the, the play of these guys change sides and try and confuse the defence by switching sides. I've seen Roddy and Brett change sides a lot, and we yes. see that from up here. You can tell more easily than down the field. Yeah, definitely. That's happening. So, so how's your season been apart from the, the knock? Obviously, I, mean, <laughs> I, you know, I mean, obviously, you know, it's, it's it's been going good. I've had I've had decent success, but um, you know, as a team as a whole, I thought I think we've been doing we've been doing great, and I, mm -hmm. I just can't wait to get back. I'm itching, I'm itching to get back on the field mm -hmm. with the guys because you know it's hard watching them out there and you can't you feel like you can't help or contribute yeah when you, absolutely. Know, when you know you can you know when you know you're able to and oh, oh hello oh offside i think though yeah or out of bounds yeah, i think so that was uh maybe an offside before it was crossed um, it's uh yeah it's, it's so yeah but but injuries you know is it's part of the it's part of the whole process you know it is. you're never you're never going to be it feel is. perfect or be perfect so when you have you know, a little injuries or, or you're out for a little bit, you got to use that to mm -hmm. better yourself in other ways, you know, like a little right. bit more mentally or just try to help the team in, in ways you usually don't when you're okay. playing because you're okay. not focusing on that kind of stuff. But right. Right. you got to still kind of stay in a positive mindset. You know it's hard and stuff. But you got to always remember that eventually you're going to eventually you're going to be back, you know. You're, yeah. You're gonna be, well, that's, that's it. That's you be healthy. It. You get back. You just, you know, do the right things off the field. Do your PT. You know, do you told by the mm -hmm. uh, by the professionals that are in, are in that field, and then you know, be back before you even even know it. Cool. Yeah, I mean, I know a lot of people realize there's more than just the 90 minutes on a Saturday evening or what you guys do, and so uh, I always like if people are available, okay, come talk to the folks at home because it's nice to put a, a, a name to a, a face and hear a voice, and no, I appreciate seeing you having, a guy running around. No, I appreciate you having me on. <laughs> well, my pleasure because it's uh, it's just good to get to know the players better. The, the, the fans that I find are very engaged at this club more than others, and they want to know more about you. Guys. Maybe they want to know too much, but <laughs> but uh, yeah, they're always interested in this and uh, hear what's going on. So. I did talk with Rob briefly before the game when you were saying about the you know, slow improvements. And you've seen the slow improvements this year. Not necessarily big jumps, but just steady growth. I mean, I mean, obviously, when, when you can get those big jumps, it's, all, it's, it's awesome. But you got our motto is kind of just getting 1% better every day. Mm -hmm. You know, just kind of building and building. And, and if you can do that and you can stay consistent, mm -hmm. you're going you're gonna to get better and you're going to get proud. If you're looking just for the big jumps, you're not always going to hit the big jumps. So, mm -hmm. so you don't want to have a big jump and then a letdown in the big. So we just kind of, you know, try to improve. You know, 1%, a little bit better every day. 
And if we can get if we can get just the smallest bit better, then you know it, it's good for us because we're building towards something great here this season. I, I can right. feel it. I can feel it. So. You can feel it. I can too. And you can feel it in the stadium too, which is great. So I think everybody's on the same page about that. So you're normally a defender, right? Yes. Okay. So I, so, so I'm, I play outside. I play left back. Left uh, back. Okay. Uh, a lot of my career, I played as a as a winger, or attacking type of player. Okay. Um, but uh, you know. As you move up the ranks, you know, some things might change. And, mm -hmm. and some coaches advised me to, you know, maybe, you know, look at that position. They thought, you know, my body type and my athleticism and stuff mm -hmm. like that okay. could really benefit me. And I think I think it's, it's, done, it's done, I've done, you know, pretty good. And I've, I've enjoyed playing there. And, okay. And with the team success, it's, it's hard to argue, you know. Right. So, those, so the position you normally play is like where Tate or Chris are playing today at the back. And you're like a wing, almost right. a wing forward. Right. You so, come all so, the way up the wing. Right. So I, I, yeah. I, I I'm an outside back, but I, I wouldn't say I'm that, I'm that traditional outside back. Like mm -hmm. I love getting into the attacking third. I love getting up with the offense. Okay. And I think that's why he likes me playing with me back. Mm -hmm. Likes me playing there because he knows that I'm I'm good, solid. I'm solid defensively, but I also bring that element, you know, of basically having a, another winger, another attacker up yeah. there. So. Yeah, And I, I've noticed that about the way Rod sets the yeah, team he, up. You know, we're, our, our system is pretty free flowing. You know, mm -hmm. as long as so, as long as you go and somebody has catches your, you know, gets you get your back. Yeah. Kind of lets you go yep. wherever you're able to go to get on the ball and stuff. So it's uh, it's fun yeah. to play in that system, you know. It's important if people do cover you. If you get a break on, and right. that people cover and, you. And Rich, Rich, you know, our captain, number four, mm -hmm. you know, shout out to him. He is, uh, you know, he's a beast. He, he's everywhere for us. If he somebody, is, isn't he? Yeah, I've noticed yeah. that about him. Right. He, 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 he embraces that role of, of kind of, he's he could play any position, you know, defensively. Yeah. So yeah. outside back, he got to cover. It's good. Center back, he's good. The six, he's great. So, mm -hmm. So it's it's great to have a player like that who's who's a little a little unselfish to get you know to the attacking side because he, he's focused so much on the defensive side and keeping us structured and balanced. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I mean you can see us from them up here, but it's nice to hear it what you see on the field. Yeah. Um, and the, the structure seems to work fairly well this season. I've been impressed. It's really worked better than previous years, maybe. And uh, always enjoyed that. So, so when you're not playing soccer, what are you doing, Travis? <laughs> uh, you know, I'm just just give know. me the clean stuff. No. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, you know, I like I like to have a good time. You know, I, I have a dog at home, so I spend a lot of time with him. You okay. Know, um, you know, I like going on walks. You know, hiking stuff like that. Okay. You know, just kind of getting out. Um, We're in the right town for that. This is a great town for the outdoors. No, yeah, it's uh, no, nah, you know, I'm tired a lot of time from training stuff. We, we train every day, so I, you know, when I get get time to go get out, you know, just like to enjoy it with with friends and family and people that uh -huh. are close to me. And like I said, I spend a lot of time with my dog, so. Go on, get oh, oh, look at that. See it. We're getting there. Oh. We're getting good positions. We're getting There's good that guy for the last touch. Right, you know? right. right, right. That's what you're looking for. Yeah. Absolutely. So so this is your second season here? Is that right? No, this is my first season here. First season here. Okay, yes. okay. And you're liking it so far? Yeah, I love okay. it. You know, it's okay. not too much to complain about. Um, good. As a club, good. it's it's top. It's top It's top level club. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we've tried from the, the very first season. I've been here since the first season. We've yeah. always tried to make it. Yeah, of course, you're wearing, the, shirt, you're wearing well, the shirt, the champion well, shirt today. Well, you can't see the shirt on TV, but yeah, yeah I'm wearing it. <laughs> great shirt. Um, trying to add another one of those this year. So, so um, yeah, it, it's it's a cool place. And before this, you were at, no, you were at. Uh, so, before this, I was at uh, Stumptown, Stumptown in, Char in okay. Charlotte. Yeah. With Alex and yes, Colin. And, okay. and Colin okay. and Frankie and KG. So Okay, okay. Okay, so you got a little bit of team. So I was there, that. yeah, I was yeah. there, and I was at Greenville Triumph before that. Oh, okay. I mean, so we played Carolina. against them. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So okay, cool, cool. So that, that was my first professional club. Cool. Them. So you've always been a soccer guy. Yeah. You didn't really transfer from someone else. No, I'm. I, I mean, I, wait, say that again. You didn't transfer from like baseball or football. No. You? So my whole life, I, I, I played. I, I wasn't just soccer. I played bas basketball and okay. baseball until okay. I was about 18. Um, my whole life, and I just kind of, uh, my sophomore year in high school, I kind of just made the switch that I wanted to play soccer at the okay. next level. So started putting a little bit of extra time into it, you know, and mm -hmm. um, as right now it's, it's worked out so far. So Yeah, it has, and you're playing at a great club and playing well. It's always good to watch you playing. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate and I always, that. I always enjoy that. I hope the fans at home like watching you too. So, uh, thank you. I appreciate that a lot. You want to give us, a, before I let you go, some interesting fact about Travis Ward that nobody knows? <laughs> Uh, interesting. Facts. Not the FBI part. The okay, let's see, let's see. Let's see. I, gotta, I gotta think about this. I gotta think about this. Okay, that's fine. That's all good. <laughs> I mean, okay, if you said, okay, if you said it's like no, my interesting. Favorite. No, no. I love. Uh, <laughs> I grew up my whole life with a with a ping pong table, so I'm pretty good at ping oh, pong. Oh, okay. So anybody, if anybody's well, trying to go. go to a local ping pong spot, okay, pretty good. So. Uh, 
if the fans want to play you at ping pong, they right, want to do very right. well against, against you in soccer, but they might do okay in ping pong. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't know, I'm pretty good at ping pong still. <laughs> Well, that's interesting. See, these little things, things you just don't find yeah, out. I'm just a big sports guy, you know. I like. To, okay. Like, I, I mean, I, I'm a competitive guy. I like to win. Mm -hmm. that. I, I know when the right situation about, you know, when it when you there just to have a good time and, and have fun, and when you got to really be, you know, competitive and stuff. You so, got to focus. But yeah. I but yeah. I, I like being yeah. I love being active. I love being okay. you know involved in that kind of stuff. So cool, cool, cool. So you think you'll be back at the next game against the Bobcats by uh, the sixth? So, so what do you think? So we're hoping. So the the goal is for me to start training on Wednesday okay. of next week. So. You know, as, if, all, if everything goes to plan, um, that, that that's the plan. But, you know, we got to just kind of take it day by day. I got to make sure I'm 100% healthy before, mm -hmm. you know. Sure, absolutely. Back. Absolutely. But we're on the right path. You know, I got a great, I got a great, great uh, club taking care of me, great PTs helping me out. So, um, you know, just putting the trust in them and, yep. and, and, and kind of awesome more than that. And then yep. just time, and, and then just time, you know, do his magic. And then I'll be hopefully be back on the field okay. as soon yeah, as possible. Good. But it's like we're seeing Chad Mugger putting a bit more pressure on uh, Club Lee on the second half now. He's having a lot more corners again action going on. So, um, Travis, thank you for being here. We will um, hopefully be calling your name out on the field at the next game. No, sir. definitely. I appreciate, I appreciate you having me on. and It was a blast, and I hope I can do it again soon. Excellent, man. Have a great weekend. Right. Travis, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. So, Chattanooga... Still keeping it two all, and uh, a lot of pressure on Club de Leon, but uh, no goals yet. So an hour played, still two apiece. And uh, great to have Travis Ward come and see us down there. So quick hello. It's always nice to see the guys. Find a bit more about them than just a name on the back of a shirt, as I'm sure you'd like to know. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to bring you some more interviews with players later on this season. But for now, back to the game. Two apiece. Lots of drama in that first half. And... Uh, Two goals and a penalty save. It's pretty good value. <laughs> but uh, Chattanooga came out fighting in the, in the start of the second half. But they'll keep that pressure on. And the substitutes will make a difference. Taylor Gray certainly busy on the, uh, on the left wing there. And... Uh, I mentioned he replaced Roddy Green, so uh, Roddy had a good first half. So let's see what Taylor does too, but the uh, rest of the Chattanooga team warming up, so we should see some more subs later on during the course of this half. Leon, well, we almost at the middle of the field there. We'll play it wide. Trying to push down their right wing, Chattanooga's left side. Good long ball there. Number 18 trying to get the shot in. Kevin Gonzalez grabs that one. And a little bit of pushing on the keeper there. Chattanooga defenders do not like that, I and mean, the referee's going to have to, uh-oh, step in and separate, because there's a bit of pushing and shoving going on here, and that's, that's not good. The referee and the uh, other officials trying to make sure he plays nicely. But, uh, Pittman's getting a little afraid here. People are getting a little upset. Referee talking to... Uh, Number 11 from Club de Leon. That's uh, Ignacio Lopez. Not sure what he's going to do. He's going to give him a card or what he's going to do. Hang on. Getting a yellow card for Lopez. So he's going to behave himself a bit better. It was a good move from Club Leon. They kind of spoiled it with that and getting a bit childish there. But, uh, all right, 
right, Kevin Gonzalez resumes play. Oh, and they're off again. And whoa! Tackle there. A little bit hard for me and Sarah. But uh, I'm not sure the referee wants well with the Incero too, no. Just uh, wards the foul and goes on, but uh, taking out Luis Taran in that one. in, not cleared and all oh, over the bar good pressure there from Club de Leon just not able to capitalise on that and put it in the net but good play I'd rather see him doing that than being a bit silly and fighting about stuff <laughs> so Kevin Gonzalez gets play back underway 65 minutes gone, still two apiece here on 11 Sports Chattanooga CSA so against Club de Leon from Nisa Nation in Florida. And a chance for Chattanooga to break. And foul called on that little challenge there. And the graph a bit too strong for the Club de Leon defence. the game there. Referee having to uh, talk to some players and seem to cool down a bit. I think it's, uh, check the temperature out there. Last time I checked it was 90 degrees. Has it come down a bit? 88. Oh, big deal. Two degrees. Still really warm out there. So, uh, nice summer weather, but if you're running around, it's, uh, it's hard work. So we'll probably have a hydration break. That half of this half as well. Chattanooga are trying to come forward again. Take Robertson trying to feed the Encero. Tate again coming in with a header and foul given. Bit of climbing on the back there from Tate, so that's a foul. Look at that scoreline. Ten apiece in fouls. <laughs> An not a major stat, but interesting. <laughs> so, uh, matched in goals, matched in fouls. Shot away. Oh, just over the bar. That's a good one too from uh, Guerrero. Trying to make something happen, but uh, shooting rule of fire outside the box. We'll have to be a bit closer in for more accuracy. So... Back in the play, Gonzalez taking the short initial goal kick and the long one. Chani to trying to get possession, and again, a bit of an easy giveaway there. Chani could have done better with that one, not giving it away. And uh, Ian Cerro coming in to clean up, and I think, yeah, that's a yellow card for Ian for more for persistent fouling than for that particular, um, particular foul. Ian picks up the yellow for Chattanooga in the 68th minute. 
it was Club de Leon a chance for a free kick from about, uh, let's see, what's that, 25 yards out maybe? Ignore the white lines on the folks field there from some other game, but uh, for soccer that's, uh, that's about 25 yards out. Here we go. Dipping again, a little bit too high. Just can't get those balls to come down in that length of space available. But again, that's, that's Tehran again. He's quite the quite the goal taker. And I'm expecting him to be still keep on being dangerous through this this entire game. Now Kevin Gonzalez getting a spot of bother there. A little bit slow to clear the ball. Luckily his defenders to the rescue. Trying to find Taylor Gray there, but not this time. Richard Dixon trying to push it on. Taylor coming back to fight for it. Spreads the ball out a bit. Tate Robertson now looking up. Tate Scott. Brett Jones ahead of him. Brett Jones on the break, trying to get that going. And that one goes out for a throw in in the far corner for Chattanooga. A quick break there for Chattanooga could turn into a seriously good attack. Cerro spreading it across McGrath, looking up, back to Cerro, Robertson, Jones tucked in nicely to Cerro, gets the cross in, and right across the penalty spot, but nobody there for it. Suddenly on clearing it well. Chattanooga's defence cleaning up, Spielman stripling, keeping it solid there. McGrath again trying to come forward. Going down the line, look at him, get away, speeds on, good, cut back to Taylor Gray, takes two defenders in, Taylor Gray coming in, tips it out, throw to Chattanooga. Chattanooga turning the screw a little bit, a bit more pressure as we get into 70 minutes of play, will it lead to a goal? Maybe a winning goal, but we've seen, as soon as one is scored, one is scored in return by the other side in this game. So the trick will be to get that goal and keep the lead. Here the Gray trying to come through four players. Can't do it, obviously it's a little hard to get through four defenders. So now Club Leon's turn to come and break and Richard Dixon cleaning up, giving away a throw on the far side. Given again against Chattanooga. Just An indirect free kick from the far side for Club Lee on there. Putting all the men up at the uh, far side of the penalty box. We'll see in a minute when the wide shot kicks in. Here we go. Deep in, head of the way, not cleared. Now it's clear, nope, back to Club Leon and Chattanooga trying to get it away, Taylor Gray gets it. Now Chattanooga getting a break, can they get away? Yes they can, here we go. Nagelstadt puts it across to Cerro, Cerro is trying to set up for a shot, can't get it in. Ducks and dives, cannot get it. McGrath gets on it and it kicked out for a free kick, panic on there for Club Leon. As Chattanooga broke very fast in that corner kick. Still play with a fast pace this game, despite the heat that they're playing quick and dirty and it's very entertaining to watch. Got to be some more goals missing though, I'm sure. And Chattanooga they're not getting that final pass through. Again, trying and trying and that final touch is not getting there. That's there now, but again, probably on putting the pressure on. As soon as somebody gets the ball, there's two or three defenders on him straight away. Now McGrath looking up, gets the shot. Oh! Tipped over the bar. Good shot from outside the box by Alex McGrath. And uh, Melendez tucking that over the box. Watch this replay. 
really gets his right foot through that one and Melendez has to stretch, just gets it over the bar. Chandler is still dangerous. Great shot there. Oh, I'm talking of Alex Ron, let's give a shout out to Henry watching in Spennymore at home. Henry, hope you're watching the game. Stay up late and enjoying this one. Here it comes, swinging in, it's a loose ball in the box. Can we get it cleared? And Melendez grabs it, it bounces around a bit. Stripling cleans up there, Chapman's the defence, able to reset. Could be one of those points of the game where fitness becomes an issue too, with the heat and everything else. Well, both teams do play in hot climates, but uh, been playing for over an hour. Brett Jones cutting through now, you can suddenly run out of steam without realising it. Good header there. Had to be on a handball called, I think. Yeah, a handball called on Guerrero. Play goes on quickly, quickly taken, and we're resuming. Chattanooga, it's being crowded out. Club Leon really good at crowding out the Chattanooga attack. Now a long ball onto Lopez. Stripling fighting for that one. Help from Robertson. Robertson comes away. Look at that. Comes through too. Like he's just running down the road with nobody on him. Look at this now. Ian Cerro. Brett Jones, Chattanooga getting numbers up, Taylor Gray in the box, can Jones get it across? He can get it across to McGrath, he can serve it out. Chattanooga not quite able to complete that pass again, if they can get those passes completed. That'll be dangerous, but anyway, Chattanooga back, resetting, keeping the pressure on though in this part of the game. Going the Brett Jones path again, Brett quick in the crossing, Taylor Gray, Taylor Gray goes down in the six yard box. No foul, just a corner to Chattanooga. Chattanooga using the uh, acceleration here. Slow play and a sudden burst of speed to get around the defence and it's working well. Can they turn that into a goal? Corner here. The usual team taking that one. Everybody up. Club de Leon have uh, Guerrero hovering around the middle line for the breakaway. Everybody else is back in the 18 yard box. Club de Leon is deep, long, a bit too much on it. I think that's going to go out. No, nope, stays in play on the far side. Breakaway, no, nope, Chattanooga break up the breakaway. The breakaway. The graph on the far side in Jones's spot. Sarah in the middle. There's a lob up to Magostat and the header. What a good header that was to stop Magostat getting hold of the ball. Good defensive play. And again, Chattanooga stealing the ball back. Magostat, and again. Whew. Hard work there, number six, working hard for Club de Leon. Jorge Ruiz, again, having a pretty good defensive game, but he's got Marcus Nagelstadt to work with, so... I'm not enjoying having to deal with Marcus too much. Players using this unofficial interval to get some water. I expect the referee's call here place called the water break at this point where the action has stopped anyway. So if you're at home, get hydrated too. The player's getting hydrated in the 78th minute. Still two apiece. Still think there's more goals than this one. And I think you folks at home probably agree too. So, stay hydrated, enjoy the game, but don't go away, because there's more action coming. As I said, this being a cup game, if there's not uh, a winner at 90 minutes, we get extra time. 
and we may get PKs. So, <laughs> hopefully not. So a uh, change out there for Club de Lyon, Christophe Clement coming off and uh, Thomas Virate coming on to replace him. That's uh, Clement number 17, place number 14, Virate. Chattanooga have some subs warming up but nobody looks like they're going to be coming on just yet. Beautiful warm dry evening here. Now, if you want to be here for our next game on August the 6th, and we have Merrill and Bobcats come to visit, um, you can get tickets in advance with a discount if you go to cfctix.com, cfctix.com, and uh, get your tickets there, or even a season pass. Uh, you can get a packet of tickets that you can use at random whenever you whichever games you want to come to. So uh, don't forget to go to cfctix for the next August 6th game, Saturday 7.30. But then you haven't listened to me, and you can enjoy yourself with the hooligans and have a beer. Which I think is a wonderful thing to do. <laughs> and I think once you've done it, you'll uh, want to come back and keep doing it. So I probably recommend doing that. Play's about to resume with the. Uh, what are we doing down here? It's behind the wall, so I can't quite see what they are doing. Is it? I think it's the corner kit. It is. It's the corner kit. The linesman's down there, but the rest of them are hidden behind the wall. So we've got uh, Sarah and McGrath over the corner. Let's see if they do this long or short. Short. Played in Magistat and pushed out by Double Leon at the corner. Chattanooga winning winning on corners, is it anything else? <laughs> Graf through with a give and go, so with a great cross. Just couldn't find Taylor Gray, I think he's looking for Taylor. Gray gets it back with help from his other forwards. Chattanooga reset a little bit. Now Gray on the left wing, then drive in the box. Here he comes. He goes down, and that's give me a goal kick. He came off Taylor last. First minute of play. Melendez appears to be. He had a knock. Getting one of his teammates to look at him. He's going to get him to take the goal kick if he's hurt his leg. Maybe he's just tying his shoelace and he can't reach it because of his pads. <laughs> That's also possible. It's like stuffing his shoe attended to. If you want your shoe flying off when you take a goal kick. All right, back into play. Here we go. Ten minutes to go, two apiece. Chattanooga mainly on the offensive in this half, and that's a good push there. Alex McGrath steaming in. Has he got support? He has. Nagelstadt Gray. Oh, yes! Oh, yes. 3-2, Taylor Gray. Amazing goal. <laughs> Taylor Gray, watch this replay. Alex McGrath with the steal. Gets away from the markers, gets it across. Marcus Nagels that misses it. Taylor Gray's right there. Thank you. Bang, back of the net. What a goal. Taylor Gray does the magic yet again. <laughs> That's why we love it, and 
Go on, graphics man. That was Taylor Gray, not Marcus, getting the goal. <laughs> that was a great bit of play there. Just opportunistic by Alex McGrath. And uh, Taylor able to clean up the, the cross and just bury it out in the back of the net. Now, what do Club de Leon do next? And they know the clock is ticking away. They can see it as much as we can at the end of the field. The Chattanooga go defensive. The Chattanooga go ahead and press for another goal. Eyes glued to the screen, folks. Spreading it wide, Brett Jones again. Having a good game, Brett Jones. Recovery in, so a great play there back to Taylor Watson. Richard Dixon doesn't quite get the ball where he wants it. And McGrath steals it back, back to Cerro. Chattanooga possession focused at this point. 84th minute, obviously a bit of extra time because of the water break. Yet, uh, that clock is running away. Over the bar again, just frustrating with the Club on there. Rojas getting in a good position, just can't keep it down. there from Taylor Gray to find Nagel Stat, but it works. Now Gray coming down the left wing, he's going to be a bit of a target, look, he's using the speed, getting away, getting that one across, and back to Gray, that was interesting, what are they going to shoot? <laughs> Cerro, will Cerro shoot? He's got a great foot, oh, deflected away. And back to Melendez, but uh, Cerro chasing him, Melendez safe on the ball. minute counts here and again Chattanooga trying to run that clock down a bit and keep playing and Club de Leon's half stop them getting down anywhere near Chattanooga's goal. Take Robertson keep that one going. He's still got it. Take them a good game too. He's being very strong. Um, yep, yeah, that's Taylor Gray. Really a bit slower to respond. They're definitely getting some tired legs out there. Nagelstadt trying to come in. He's got all the players on him, of course, but Gray's unmarked, so Gray's able to put it back to McGrath. Club de Leon not pressing quite as much as they were early in the game. Chat need to have time to spread it around to uh, be a bit more creative and yeah, take their time. Richard Dixon now. Cerro finding Nagelstadt. Great long ball there from Cerro, that's good. Brett Jones coming in, round one. Tries to chip it through, can't get it. And foul given away there. No, nope. referee plays the advantage on that foul. Sarah gives a foul away again. And. Nope, not Sarah, sorry. Robertson gets the yellow. Those two are getting changed much. It's hard to tell which one's which. <laughs> Take Robertson with that, uh, that yellow curl.
probably going to look a little bit tired. I think both sides are, but heavy legs and you're running around in this heat for an hour and a half. Definitely a change in pace. Robertson now driving one. He's like, maybe Robertson will have a go at it. Runs in the traffic, still gets around him. <laughs> you can't stop him, can you? And draws the foul, but he's uh, <laughs> tormenting the defence. One defender to another. Knocked over Borelli there. And we've got a substitution coming up. Two substitutions, in fact. Club de Leon send on number 18. Chattanooga going to bring on Hernandez. No, Hines. And it's Rodriguez. And number 30. He's coming off. Brett Jones getting a breather. He has run his socks off. So, yeah, Lewis Fran comes off. Perozzo comes on for Club de Leon. Chattanooga struggling a bit there in the box, but they get it cleared away thanks to Richard Dixon. Like Travis Ward said, Richard is solid and he's always there when you need him. Fresh legs in the winger. Maybe that will make Chattanooga get a, do something in the attack. We'll see. And this uh, game is still exciting right at the end. Nice cross there. Gonzalez punches it and can't hold it. Club de Leon still in the attack. Trying to find that equaliser, they've pushed away. We'll try to get it. Ooh, Hernandez comes in. Those fresh legs helping, I'm sure. Added time, five. Five, count them, five minutes. <laughs> so plenty more soccer to come, folks. I'm sure you're not going to miss this one. Now, Hernandez and Gray combining. Two on two defensively. They can keep it moving, and oh, and that Mark and like gets almost knocked sideways. No call from the referee, but a bit of a sandwich there. Making a bit of a Norway sandwich there on uh, Paul Marcus. having a few words after the Chattanooga players and happy to see Marcus get knocked around like that. So he's up on his feet so he's okay but be a free kick to Chattanooga in a dangerous spot. And the more time that Club de Leon's been arguing, the less time they have to get an equaliser. But if they want to argue that's fine. having a word with uh, number five and uh, number 19 coming over to have a word <laughs> He's trying to have a word with Pink Taran and uh, yep, another yellow card UK trying to have a word too but uh, doesn't do himself any favours and again waste of time when they could be playing soccer but hey it's their choice, I guess. And a shot. Oh! A little bit too much on that. Becomes a field goal, but uh, it's okay. A bit more time off the clock. Thanks to our yellow card sponsors, Captain White and McGarvey, too, for that. Sponsoring the yellow cards this season. Got foul vision. Go see Captain White and McGarvey. Now, long ball. Club Leon trying to find that space behind the Chattanooga defence. Trying to get in there, Kevin Gonzalez grabs that. Solid. No problems there, Kevin's got it. And 
We've got a player down the back. He's just waiting. Let's see if the player's okay. He is. Kevin will bring it out. Good long kick. Trying to find Andres Hernandez. And his fresh legs are going to be a test for the defence. Nagelstadt's getting in there so they can't pass back to the keeper. Good tactical move that. Bit of off the ball intelligence. Probably on trying to come forward. They've got two minutes to go. Trying to equalise a huge long kick. Out of the way. Take Robertson on that one. Here they come again with a long shot. Good save, Gonzalez. Can he hold? Oh. Can't hold it, but does in the second attempt and gets fouled for his for his troubles. Gets a real knock. And I think there's Lopez coming on him. Yeah, it's a little bit aggressive. Referee not giving a card or anything, but uh, two of them having words. <laughs> Probably not words you can repeat in front of the children. Coming at the last minute of the extra time. De Leon trying to put the pressure on. And it, uh, I see tired legs everywhere on this one. And throw trying to find Nagelstadt. He gets the advantage and gets pulled down. Again. <laughs> Looks like another yellow card. Club De Leon clipping yellow cards. They like going out of fashion. Yep, yeah, another yellow card. A lot of protests, but it never do any good. They continue to do this, and the referee just ignores it because it's a huge waste of time. Anyway, so that's Ruiz picking up the yellow card there, and another one, I think. No, he's got the card out. <laughs> I can't keep track of these yellow cards on this one. <laughs> okay, Duque getting the yellow card as well, so. Cerro and Gray with the free kick. Happy to wait around. I mean, happy to wait around and run the clock there and we've got a goal lead. The uh, extra time is up. We're waiting to see what happens next. Probably on trying to get the break. One ball and a bit of pulling and shoving there. Tate Robertson flees it away. Referee has pointed at the seventh spot. That's it. The game is over. Chattanooga FC 3, Club de Leon 2. Lots of drama. Especially in the first half. Goal after goal in the first half. A saved penalty. A lot of drama. Very good game. Well played by Club de Leon. Just not up to uh, an extra goal in the end. But uh, we think we've come up from uh, Florida for the game. And... Uh, Chattanooga winning the uh, South East Region Independent Cup. So thank you for staying with us on 11 Sports tonight. We hope you enjoy the broadcast. Don't forget we're back on August the 6th for Maryland Bobcats here at 7.30 on Saturday night. Get your ticket to cfcticks.com so you can be in the stadium. And don't forget to follow us at Chattanooga FC on social media. All the usual channels are open. And get your feedback on the game. And uh, thanks for watching and being part of the team tonight. Hope to see you in the stadium soon. And uh, for me, Simon Neal, and the rest of the broadcast crew, I'm going to say goodnight. We'll leave you a little highlight medley from the game. Five great goals. Lots of excitement. And thanks for being here. See you on August the 6th. Good night, everybody. <laughs>